Okay, so let's just talk a little bit about logic. So you know that in mathematics, we often have statements like this, if P, then Q. Now we just had an example of that. We were talking about one-to-one -one functions and we had if F of A is equal to F of B, then A must equal B. So that's of this form, if P, then Q, this would be P, and this would be Q. Anyway, in mathematics, we often have forms like that. So um, we can also, f we can take the, uh, we can, sorry, we can take this and we can represent it with symbols like this. So this is red, exactly like this. This is red. If P, then Q. And if we wrote, for example, if we wrote this, this would be red. If Q, then P. And if I had R and T, this would be red. If R, then T. Okay. So, um, so what's the relationship between a statement like P arrow Q, meaning if P then Q, and the statement Q arrow P? So is there a relationship? I mean, are they logically the same? Do they mean the same thing? So let's, let's think about it. Let's, let's suppose we say P is I am in Tokyo. And Q is I am in Japan. Okay, so what does this say? If P, then Q. So what is that? If I am in Tokyo, then I am in Japan. Let's just write it out. If P, so if I am, I'm, I'm working with this one, not this one. Uh, if, if I am in Tokyo, then I am in Japan. Okay, so that's what that means. So actually that's true, right? That has to be true, but it, it's not, I'm not really worried about whether it's true or not. I just want to write it down. So what does this mean? Q arrow P. So that's if P then Q. So I'm sorry, if Q then P. So if I am in Japan, then I am in Tokyo. Okay, so what about these? Are these the same? No, they're definitely not the same. I mean, they don't, one is, in fact, uh, has, is always, is true, and this is not necessarily true, right? So they can't be the same. So the point here is that P arrow Q and Q arrow P are not the same. They're basically different statements, and if you prove one of them, if you prove this statement, for example, if I prove, what did we have up here? If I prove this, where this is P and this is Q, that's not the same thing as proving Q arrow P. Right? I'd have to, if I wanted to say, if A equals B, then this equals that, that's a separate proof. I'd have to show that separately. They're not the same statement. P arrow Q is not the same as Q arrow P. Okay, however, are there, is there anything that's related to P arrow Q or actually logically the same as P, P arrow Q? Well, consider this, Q, not Q, I'm sorry. This means not, so this means not. So consider this, not Q, arrow, not P. Okay, this is logically the same as this. So let's take an example. Let's take the example that we just had, which was, uh, if I'm in Tokyo, then I'm in Japan. And let's write this one now. So what does this say? If, this is not Q, Q was, I'm in Japan. If I am not in 
what was it? Not in Japan, not Q, then I am not in Tokyo. Okay, so that seems basically like the same sentence as the original one. If I'm in Tokyo, then I'm in Japan, and if I'm not in Japan, then I'm not in Tokyo. They seem the same, whereas these two did not seem the same, right? If I'm in Tokyo, then I'm in Japan. It seems very different than if I'm in Japan, then I'm in Tokyo. In fact, this one is not true, and this one is. But th this is very close, and we say it's logically the same as this, okay? So again, this says, if I'm in Tokyo, then I'm in Japan. This says, if I'm not in Japan, then I'm not in Tokyo. So they're logic. We say they're logically equivalent. So if you want to, if you want to prove this, you can choose to prove this instead. This might be for some reason easier for you to prove than this. And so if you prefer to prove this, that's equivalent to proving this. Okay. So this thing is has a name. It's called the contra positive of the original statement of P arrow Q. So the, this is called the contrapositive of this and the, con, the a statement or, and its contrapositive are logically equivalent. So if you want to prove this, but this turns out to be easier for you to do for some reason, you can prove this instead. You can prove the contrapositive instead. Now, the other one that we looked at was this one here. This is not the contrapositive. Contrapositive would be put the not in front of here and not in front of here. Anyway, this statement also has a name. It's called the converse. So the converse and the original statement are not logically equivalent. So if you want to prove the converse, you have to prove it separately. So you'd have to prove Q arrow P. In addition, to, if you wanted to prove P arrow Q, you don't, you'd have to prove that also. But these two, you can prove one or the other. They're logically equivalent. Okay, but the con converse is not logically equivalent. So it's a separate statement from the original statement. So going back to here, what is the contrapositive of this statement? Because maybe, well, let's just look at it. What is the contrapositive of that? So remember, what was this? It says, we said, we call a function f1 to 1 if whenever f of a equals f of b, then a must equal b. So what's the contrapositive of this? So here's p, and here's q. So what's the contrapositive? So we have p arrow q. What's the contrapositive of that? Not q arrow not p. So what is that? Not, let's just write it out kind of awkwardly, not a equals b implies not f of a equals f of b. Now, can we say that a little more, uh, a little better English? If a is not equal to b, then f of a is not equal to f of b. So that's really what we meant by one to one, right? Remember we said one to one? If A is not equal to B, then their heights are not the same. They don't go to the same height. So maybe we should have said the definition of one to one is this instead of its contrapositive. By the way, of course, what's the, uh, if here's the original statement, here's the contrapositive. What's the contrapositive of the contrapositive? So it means you, you push, well, you write, you put this on one, back on this side, and this back on this side. But you have to write not again. 
So you get not not P, which means what? That means P, and you get not not Q. So the contraposit so the contraposit of this is this, and the contraposit of this is back to this. Okay. So anyway, maybe we should have said instead of uh, instead of saying a function is one to one by giving this definition, we should have given we should have stated it like this because they're equivalent.